Unbox your new speaker just the way I did with this Elac Debut 5.3. Well, I'm pretty sure that the first thing you would want from the speakers is that they need to sound as incredible as they are designed to because you purchase them for that particular benefit. Now, here's what I have got to share with you to ensure that you get the best sound from your newly purchased speakers always. Now, the first step is to ensure that you do a speaker burn-in. Now, what is speaker burn-in? When you buy a newly purchased speaker, the mechanical components are going to be very, very stiff. So, you have to ensure that you loosen them up. And to do that, the best way is to play some mix of frequency sounds, which can be an orchestra sound or it can be any other favorite tracks of yours on these speakers. Now, obviously, if you want to use some of our recommendations, then check the link that is shared in the description to get the best playlist to test your speakers. Now, when you do that, what happens is the speakers start playing in and you do this speaker burn-in for almost 20 to 40 hours for most of the speakers. Now, when you do a speaker burn-in test, you should always remember that you should not crank up the volume levels very, very high. They have to be at moderate levels and they have to run like that for a very, very long time. So, when you do that, the drivers start loosening up and the mechanical components inside will start working far more better in your favor. The second tip is for placement. Now, placement is very, very important to get the best sound from your speakers. And to do that, the first thing that you need to do is open up the user manual that comes along with the speakers and read it out to see what is the recommended distance from the walls for these speakers. Now, for instance, most of the speakers, especially the bookshelf and the floor standing, will be asked to be kept 6 to 12 inches away from the wall so that you don't have many distortions coming from these reflections. The second thing is to use the toe-in for the floor standing and bookshelf speakers so that you can focus sound towards your listening position. And the third thing is that when you buy a bookshelf speaker, always use speaker stands or isolation pads so that it can reduce the vibrations and give you the best output. Now, if you want to know the best placement tips for the speakers, do check our video which is shared over here on the link above. Now, the next step is to calibrate your speakers using your AV receiver or the amplifier. Use your receiver's built-in auto calibration tool to balance levels for all the channels. Now, you can also adjust the crossover settings based upon your speaker type, which can be small or large. Typically, we recommend 80 Hz for most setups for the bookshelves and the floor standing speakers. After that, you can even opt for manual distance and channel level adjustments to match your room layout experience. Now, the fourth and most important tip is that when you do your amplifier and the speaker connection, it has to happen through speaker cables. So, don't overlook on the speaker cables. They have to be of high quality oxygen-free copper. Secondly, the gauge of the speaker cable needs to match your distance of the cable laying as well as the power requirement of the speaker. So, 12 gauge, 14 gauge, 16 gauge. Please check which is required for your speaker and then do the connections. And for connections, always use banana plugs or spade connectors so that there is smooth transition of sound from the speaker cable to your speakers without any losses happening at the connector end. So with these tips, I assure you that you will get the best sound from your speakers always and you will get what you paid for. Now, if you want to know some more tips on the placement of the speakers, then please check the end screen for that next video. And for more such amazing tips and tricks for your home theater, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's it from my end. I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya. We'll see you again in the next video. Till then, if you need anything in AV, simply tap AV.